Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizoglu, and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about local and global variables in C Sharp. Hopefully, throughout my demonstration, you will have a clear understanding of the difference between the local and global variables. Local variables are the variables which will, we, we will be able to apply them on one form and used within or throughout this single form where a global variable can be used across the whole solution, so multiple forms. To demonstrate how to do this, we will need two forms. So we're going to go to Project. Let's go to File. Let's get started from the beginning. File New Project. I'm going to select C Sharp Project, Windows Form Up, and click OK. I have my Form 1 here. I'm just going to put a button. I'm going to create a new form now. I'm going to go to Project, Add Windows Form. Make sure C Sharp selected Windows Form. I'm just going to leave the default name. So I have Form 1 and I have Form 2. My Form 2, I'm going to put a button as well here. With my Form 1 selected, I'm going to double click on my button and I'm going to say, I'm, I would like every time somebody clicks on this button for the Form 2 to be displayed. So I'm going to call it Form 2 my f2 let's call it is equals to new form 2 open close brackets semicolon to add my statement and i will say my f2 dot show open brackets close brackets semicolon to add my statement now once i've display the form 2 I need to display also a message box. So I'm going to say message box dot show and my message box will say hi. Semicolon to end my statement. Let's test that. So I've created my form. If I click on this button, I'm showing my form too. Plus I'm showing the text, a message box. Hi. Let's stop the project. Now, let's create a local variable. So just above my button, I'm just going to create a new local variable. I'm going to start by typing public static string my age is equals to I am I am 39 years old and I'm just going to put semicolon to add my statement. So I have created my local variable here and here are my messages. I'm just going to display. I'm just going to put space here and I'm going to put a plus and then I'm going to call my variable my age. So I'm going to test this project. So when I click here, I have my form to display. Hi, I'm 39 years old. So I've just displayed my local variable. Now, after the last curly bracket, I'm going to skip a couple of lines and I'm going to create a new public static class called my global variables. This is where I will store all my global variables. So I'm going to call public static class my globals one two three and I'm going to put curly brackets now you can call these to whatever you like well you can call your class whatever you you wish to call it so my first variable is going to be an integer so I'm going to say public constant in integer and it's going to be is the value it's going to be equals to 39 and I'm going to call create another uh, variable called public static string my name and is equals to here on this oops so I have my two 
global variables and I have one local variable. So here I'm just going to put the plus icon, plus symbol, sorry, and then I'm going to say uh, and my name is space close my double quote my message and then I'm going to call my global variable which is my my global my globals one two three dot my name so hi plus my local variable plus some extra text plus my global variable called my name now if I wish to display these two variables into multiple lines after this plus I'm gonna add environment dot new line and then I will say plus so this will display this message after this line here it will display this into a new line so let's try it Play, start click here so hi I'm 39 years old and my name is Ionis Dizoglu so let's click OK let's close both forms so I've used a message box which uses two different types of var variables a local variable and a global variable now what will happen if we take this message box, copy it and paste it onto my form 2. So when somebody clicks on this button on the form 2, so I'm just going to double click on this button. So when somebody clicks on my button, which is located on my form 2 and display this message, I will have an issue. And the issue is this, my age variable, which is local variable for form 1, cannot be identified on form 2. So in order for me to actually identify this variable here on the form 2, I must convert this local variable here into a global variable. So this local variable needs to be converted to a global variable. How do I do this? I need to copy this from, cut it from here, paste it within my globals class, then I have here a problem then if I do that. I must declare that this variable is a global variable, no local vari variable. And in order for me to do this, I need to basically paste the globals, my globals one, two, three, before, followed by dot, followed by the actual variable. And I need to do the same on my form two. I need to paste my globals one, two, three, dot remove the space and now I have no more error messages so if I click OK start so this is my form 1 I'm gonna click once I have my message box here's my form 2 and if I click here I can see my message box so I hope you've learned something new today these are the differences between locals and global variables by using C-Sharp. Thank you for watching.